Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am gonna be going through all of my beauty trash and I'm finally so so ready to be sharing with you guys all of my skincare empties. I think that empty videos are really helpful to give you an idea of what I actually liked and what was worth a repurchase or what I maybe did not repurchase. And you can definitely bet that if I repurchase something I truly like it. Now this is my very first empties video on my channel and gosh I have actually hoarded so many empties. There is just so much empty skincare that for the life of me I cannot fit it all in one video so I thought we would do it in two parts. So in this video I'm gonna go through cleansers, toners and essences and then in my second part I will go through moisturizers, serums, face masks, everything that's basically left. So for the future I'm gonna try and be more consistent and do these videos more on a regular basis because I don't want to accumulate the amount of products that I actually have for today's video. And also there's quite a lot of Korean skincare in today's video. Not everything is K-beauty but most of it definitely is. So in case you are interested in shopping some of my favorite K-beauty skincare please don't forget I do have a discount code it's actually an affiliate code with stylevana.com where I always tend to shop my K-beauty products because they're just offering the best price point and with my discount code you can still get some additional coins off your order. So I'm going to leave all of the details in my description box down below and as you guys may know that is always very much appreciated if you are using my code. And also if you do enjoy today's video why not like it, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified and I would say without no further ado let's just actually talk about the very first product that is in this um, massive massive box. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> so let's, um, let's maybe start with some morning cleansers. Okay, so this is such an old, old product. I don't have this anymore and I probably used this about two years ago. So this is so old. I need to throw this one away. Um, it's not a bad product, but I just moved on from this. And that is the Honest Beauty Magic Gel to Milk Cleanser. So for a good, good time, this was actually my morning cleanser. I really enjoyed this cleanser. I actually repurchased it and I really tried hard to get the residue that is still in here out of it. But this is, it's pretty empty. Although it looks like there is something left, there really is not. It's just the residue that does not want to come out. And I enjoyed using this during the winter time because actually of the texture. The texture of this is like this really thick gel, but once you rub it on your skin, it really warms your skin up. And it's not like a weird sensation or an adverse reaction or anything. It's just the product itself. And once you emulsify it, it turned into a very light milk. Now it wasn't like super milky or anything, but I enjoyed this for my morning cleanse and this also did not foam up in any way because sometimes in the morning, as you may see, this is actually a reoccurring kind of theme. I don't really like to uh, apply too much of a foaming cleanser. I really like these type of like jelly cleansers that don't really foam up too much. And this really did not have much of a leather. It really turned into like a little bit of a milky kind of texture, but it wasn't like a thick milk. Don't be fooled. It's just a little bit of milkiness to it. And I used this in the morning because this really did not work to remove any kind of makeup. Now these days I don't think I would repurchase it necessarily. I kind of moved on from this product. I think I used this in 2021 or even in 2020. They've already revamped their packaging by now and it looks completely different. I would not tell you to run out and buy this necessarily but you know it's not a bad one. So let's actually move on from this really old empty to a very new empty. I've only like like emptied this product yesterday morning and it's actually the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker Cleanser. This is, as the name says it, a jelly cleanser. It's not going to foam up. It has a really lovely kind of jelly kind of consistency to it, you know. I really like these type of cleansers for my morning skincare routine. It's also a low pH gentle cleanser. 
it does not have any fragrance to it so if you don't like uh, fragrance cleansers i really don't like those this was so useless when it came to makeup removal or anything so i just use this in the morning i think this is a really good cleanser if you are not looking for a makeup remover if you just want something gentle for in the morning it's doing a pretty good job it's not the most like efficient cleanser in the world but it has a nice texture it's like bouncy and it's kind of like also hydrating i mean it's a good one and it's very very affordable i would definitely recommend this for the morning routine it was nice it was lovely it was good but there was another one that I much more prefer actually and this was actually the cleanser that I used uh, before I switched over to the jelly cleanser by Geek and Gorgeous and that is the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser. OMG this one it's perfection. This might be my favorite sort of jelly cleanser that I've ever ever tried. So this is actually Robert's brand. He's also a fellow YouTuber and he's running a skincare channel that is called Mad About Skin. So he called his brand Mad About Skin as well. But this stuff is just an experience in and of itself. I never thought I would love it that much. I was so sad when this was <laughs> empty and I definitely I'm gonna repurchase this one. This is one that I'm already missing. Just looking at it I'm like no I need this in my life. This is so nice. This one was really amazing in also getting rid of like makeup. I used this product once on its own without like a second cleanser or anything. This was like used as my first cleanser and all of my makeup was gone and I was really, really baffled by that. I did not think that it would do such a great job in actually removing my makeup. This one is also completely fragrance-free and it did not sting my eyes. I literally rubbed my eyes with this and it did not irritate my eyes whatsoever. So I really love this and I really love the texture of this because when this comes out, it actually feels like a balm. But once you add water to this, it's just turning into like a thick nice jelly and the way this glides over my skin the way this grips onto your makeup to dirt to any kind of stuff that you may have on your face it's amazing and it's also hydrating at once i was kind of doing the thing where i enjoyed this so much that i just wanted to use this so sparingly because i knew i would miss it the minute it would be gone and i will definitely repurchase this product it is so great and it's one of the nicest sort of like cleansers I've ever tried and it's really really fantastic. Also the price point is incredible. This is a really affordable brand and I really do appreciate um, that Rob uh, did not put a high price tag on this because he could easily sell this for 50 quid. Like he could if he wanted to. This really does feel like a luxurious product for a minimal price. A real treasure. Like I'm really really happy that I found this product and I truly truly love this one really great cleanser and then the next cleanser that i have is also a jelly cleanser and it's the frack beauty on repeat ph balance cactus cleansing gel so i actually have three empty bottles here i mean you can see i really did enjoy this cleanser for a long long time and honestly i did use this product quite a lot before i knew of any of these other cleansers yeah this was like a long time ago again i just opened one up i washed my face this morning actually with um the on repeat cleanser really loved this this is also like a thick jelly cleanser that does not emulsify with water you know it's not gonna lather up there is no foam to it but this one was really effective to remove eye makeup so i would say if you have very sensitive skin and you don't like anything that foams up or you don't want to use a milk cleanser um, maybe try one of these jelly cleansers out maybe try this one out or the mad about skin one because those are the two jelly cleansers that actually really effectively remove your makeup and also your eye makeup and this one really did remove stubborn mascara it did such a great job the only thing is this does not have the most pleasant scent to it it's unfragranced but still it's uh, kind of smelling like a little bit like skincare i just thought that this had a very particular scent I don't mind it, you know, I'm gonna wash this off in a second. It's also not that invasive that I would never use this because guys, I've emptied three of these bottles and it's a really good effective cleanser. If this would be just a little bit more affordable, if it wasn't that high up in price, I would maybe use this a little bit more and repurchase this after I'm gonna go through my two remaining bottles. 
Uh, it also has a little bit more product. This has 177 milliliters of product. It's a little bit more than the other cleansers that I've just showed you. I think most of them have either 100 or 150 milliliter of product. It's six fluid ounces. So it does have a little bit more product, but it's a little bit more expensive. And I don't think that you necessarily have to spend a lot of money on a cleanser that you could just gonna rinse off of your skin again and it's just gonna go into the drain. But now that I know these more affordable jelly cleansers, I might stick with them, especially the Metabot Skin one, over this. But I will empty the two remaining bottles that I have. It's a good one. It's great. It's just a tad a bit too expensive. Okay, so let's actually move on to some K-Beauty cleansers that I use in the morning. So the first one is the Purito Defense Barrier pH Cleanser. So once this was empty, I already purchased a new one. It's actually opened right now as well. But I use this product in particular in the summer. I really do enjoy this for the summertime because this is very refreshing and it's quite antibacterial because this has just a little bit of tea tree leaf oil in it. It's one of the last ingredients. So it has a little bit of this tea tree scent. But this is really good if you are struggling with acne that is caused by bacteria. Like this is so antibacterial and I find this to be also like kind of moisturizing at the same time. I would definitely recommend this because I think this is one of the most refreshing cleansers that I've ever tried that does not sensitize my skin. And I really don't like any kind of like strongly fragranced cleansers. And this is so subtle that I would say you would actually enjoy this. If most of the these tea tree products failed you in the past maybe try this one out also a little bit of this is going such a long way so it took me ages to actually empty this one ages because a little bit of this is doing the job so well you don't need a lot of product with this and that's also one thing that i do appreciate about these purito cleansers uh, yeah, because you don't need to constantly repurchase something. And then another one of my favorite K-Beauty cleansers. I don't think I could actually live without this because when this one was empty, I immediately repurchased it. And at the moment it's sitting in my skincare shelf. So if there is a day where I don't really want to use a jelly cleanser because sometimes that happens, I will reach for this one. This one is so amazing. It's the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Cleanser. Now, if you do enjoy green tea, you will love this. This does not have any essential oil, it does not have any synthetic fragrance to it, but it has green tea extract. And it also has like green tea powder in it. And it actually has like real grinded up green tea leaves in it, like little specks. And it's just the most beautiful texture ever. This will give you kind of like a good amount of foam without being too foamy. Like it smells like a warm, fresh cup of green tea. It does not smell grassy, but it smells like really warm green tea. I've got to say, this is also really good if you have excess oil, because this entire line by Isntree, their green tea line, is one of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, lines in K-Beauty. It's something that extremely helped my skin. And this is also a product that I think was released last year. They never had like a green tea cleanser. So when they came out with this, I immediately had to purchase it and try it and I fell in love immediately. So let's actually move on to um, my evening skincare routine. Now, most days I do have to deal with a lot of makeup removal and I tend to go in with a milk cleanser first and then I use a foaming cleanser. So yeah, I definitely do have one product that I think uh, I'm going through so, so much. It's the most effective milk cleanser I've ever, ever tried. And one could say that I'm pretty addicted to this one. And that is no other than the Sayoris Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser. I mean, do you guys want to know how many of those I have? You don't want to know. Too many. Like, I need to get rid of them. Um, I'm just holding this product. Seven empty ones. Like, I mean, you can tell there's a little bit of residue left here because that's the only issue I have with this product is this pump. This pump is not very effective. Like I have to tip the product around once it gets to its end 
and I just have to wait for this to like literally drop down and sometimes it's working sometimes it's just not worth it you know um, I mean I have this in stock like I cannot live without this I really do enjoy the texture you know this milkiness this is like more of like a creamy thick milk and it will effectively get rid of everything you have on your skin also if you have a drier skin type and you are not about the jelly cleansers you are not about the foaming cleansers and you really want a good milk cleanser go with this one this one is so amazing it's like my number one milk cleanser and you can get this on stylvana and if you use my code you can actually save some coins with this because i think one of these bottles is over 20 dollars if i'm not mistaken sometimes they having amazing sales on there and uh, you're also going to get 200 milliliters of product so this is a lot of product this is something that i think is irreplaceable. I have tried out so many milk cleansers, some of them sting my eyes, some of them just do half of the job that this one is doing and they are double the price. Because milk cleansers can be really really expensive and I just think that this one is so amazing. This also has no fragrance to it. Yeah, I will never want to be without this in my life and this is just something that I hope that they will never discontinue because it's that great. So there is one more cleanser left and then I promise you we are going to move over to the toners. But this is also a product that I never want to be without ever again. And that is the Purito from Green Deep Foaming Cleanser. This is the foamiest cleanser I've ever tried. But it's so foamy it does not strip your skin. I'm not sure how this is possible. This is so foamy and I love to use this as a double cleanse. Like although the Sayoris milk is doing the most amazing job in like you know removing my makeup, I just want to follow up a milk cleanser with um, a foaming cleanser. It's just me, it just works the best for my skin just to make sure that everything is just completely off of my face. So this is my second cleanser at night and of course uh, I mean I've already repurchased this product. I'm using this currently too. This is so good. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is this cap situation, you know. You have to really just do that for the cap to close. <laughs> like you need the tiniest amount of this product to get a crazy amount of foam, to get really effective cleansing action. And to empty one of these, like it takes a long time, I think. Using this daily, it took me six months. So that is amazing. It's a great value for what you're actually going to get. I think this is one of the most effective cleansers I've ever tried. I would never want to be without this because this really keeps my skin super clean. None of the cleansers that I showed you today have any harsh sort of surfactants. They are all very, very gentle to your skin. But this one in particular is the strongest one. So I had a look through the toners, the essences. I actually do have a couple of face mists as well. This is something that I really truly enjoyed a lot. It's the Osea C Vitamin Boost. Here is another one. So I have already like repurchased this product. So this was the red version. They also have another one which has a green tint to it. I have that one currently. I have not opened it up yet. Osea is known to have really good marine algae extract. They are a really amazing brand. Not everything by them worked out for me, but this one is one of my favorite products by them. As of right now, they actually discontinued a serum that I'm going to have in my next video that I really, really loved. Although this might not be the most hydrating facial spray in the world, this really definitely did something to my skin. It really evened out my skin tone. And I felt like my skin was a lot healthier. There's a lot of antioxidant extracts in here and this derivative that they used for their vitamin C is phenomenal. So if you ever wanted to try something by OC Malibu, I think this is a really good place to start. Okay, so let's actually move on to another facial spray. And this one is Korean skincare again. And that is the Dear Claire's Fundamental Ampule Mist. Now mine is completely empty. I love this. This has a much better sprayer than the OC one. It's going to give you deep, deep, deep hydration. And it will definitely give you somewhat of like 
some moisture to it like you don't need a lot like don't spray too much of this over your face this is based on green tea leaf water it also contains rice extract it contains some artemisia princeps extract which is mugwort i really do enjoy that and it also has some ceramide and pee i feel like if you have very very dry skin you would love this facial spray you would really love it i mean it's called an ampule mist so if this is like something that you don't want to use after you wash your face you can definitely use this after you apply to your serums just before your moisturizer it's definitely a fantastic product i really do enjoy it and yeah i might repurchase this in the future uh, but not right now because I still have so much other skincare that I want to try out first I mean this was not the biggest priority, but still it's a really great facial mist And if you like facial sprays, I would definitely recommend this. So those were the empty facial mists So let's actually move on to some toners. And let's just start off with my very favorite toner um, This is a product that I constantly repurchase if I don't have this in my skincare routine I tend to freak out. I like immediately miss it and it's really hard for me to empty toners if I'm constantly using this one. So I have three empty bottles here and this is the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Stop it you guys. This is so good. I told you this Isn't Tree Green Tea line is one of my favorite K-Beauty lines Ever. And if you have excessive sebum production, if your skin is oily or if it's like combo acne prone, try this out. This will definitely do something to control your sebum production. And green tea extract is such a great antioxidant, but it's also really good at balancing your skin tone. I think this really contributed a lot to my success in healing my skin because my skin was in a really dramatic kind of state. It wasn't good. I used the wrong skincare products and when this came into my life I really did see some epic results. Like epic. I also think that this one contains like what like maybe 78 percent or maybe even 80 percent of pure green tea extract. So it's not like a watered down toner. Like most of the K-Beauty products have amazing base ingredients. This is one of the products, if I could only keep one toner ever, I think it would be this one. I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna break your bank. It's so, so good, I love this. Okay, so I have a couple of essence toners. Now these are kind of hybrids in between toners and essences. So let's kick it off with this one, the small Pyongkang Yul Essence Toner. So this is also a top-notch product. I have repurchased this in a bigger bottle because this is also one of these like products that I just don't want to be without. So I also use this product in the morning and I actually used this after I used my green tea toner. I gave my face a little bit more hydration. This really fights dehydration and this really was plumping. It was one of the most like hydrating toners I've ever used. Well, another thing that this one did in particular was that it really softened my skin. My skin was just so smooth from this and it's just very, very hydrating. It's super potent and this is a really, really good one. And then another kind of hybrid is the Beauty of Chosen Ginseng Essence Water. This is also super plumping. It's really lovely. It almost feels like a little bit more like a toner, yet it has a little bit also of slip to it. So this actually has ginseng root water at 80% as a base, and it also contains niacinamide at 2%. So at 2%, niacinamide can really balance out your skin tone and it can also give you a little bit of that glow, you know, that glass skin effect. Now I had repurchased this product, but because I had so many products opened up, I actually gave mine to my mom. And uh, ever since I have not repurchased it, but I will definitely repurchase it because I missed this. So another hybrid product, an essence toner that I recently emptied, and this took me ages to empty. Although I use this on a daily basis in my evening skincare routine, this is the April Skin Artemisia Rice Essence Toner. And you guys may know how much I love a good mugwort product. Mugwort, apart from green tea and Santala, are really products that calm my skin down, that 
were just doing something antibacterial on my skin that kind of fight off my acne as well. And this is something I really rely on. I rely on mugwort, I rely on green tea and even Sika. Although I find like mugwort and green tea a little bit more potent. So I use this product in particular in my evening routine straight after I get rid of all of my makeup. So when I'm done with cleansing, I applied multiple layers of this. The texture of this is so hydrating. It feels like a water bomb went off on your skin. It's really deeply, deeply hydrating and plumping. This one had such an interesting scent. Very different from any sort of mugwort product I've ever tried. I honestly really dig that natural scent. Now there is no added fragrance in here. It's literally that Artemisia extract. So for this one, they're actually using Artemisia vulgaris extract. And the rest of this is also rice extract. And I felt like this was the never ending toner. Like, I mean, even if I used a couple of layers with this, this bottle did not want to go empty. And I think it's because of this texture in particular. Like it feels like, like full fat water. It just felt like it had like a density and this density made this product last for forever. It actually took me a full 11 months to empty this one. And I used this every, every day in my nighttime routine. April Skin is a really fantastic brand. I think they are an American brand, but all of their products are made in Korea. And also some of the products are actually available on Stylevana. Not sure if this one is available on Stylevana. I actually bought this off Amazon. This is fantastic and I would definitely recommend it. And guess what? I've already repurchased this one. But I'm gonna like wait a little bit to open mine up because I have quite a lot of other products that I kind of want to give priority to, that I want to empty out again so it's not that repetitive. Because I can be a creature of habit. If something works for me, I tend to just want to continuously use it. And then I forget that I have a couple of other products that I should really just test out. And maybe I'm gonna end up loving them too. So, you know, it's just all a mess, okay? But I definitely have repurchase this product because this is fantastic and this was also a product that when it was empty I kind of started missing it immediately. So those were all of the toners or the essences that can be used as toners that kind of hybrids in my eyes. So let's actually move on to the essences. So let's actually stick with some more mugwort products. I have two mugwort essences that I emptied and I definitely have one that I prefer over the other. So let's actually start off with this one. So this is the Tony Moly from Gangwa Pure Artemisia First Essence. I have to say, although this was one of the most expensive essences I've ever tried in K-Beauty, this was just okay. I never repurchased this product. I wasn't going crazy for this. This really did not steal my heart that much. I used it up because it's Artemisia, but I did not repurchase this product. It's not as good as this April Skin and the next product that we're about to talk about. I mean, I used this straight after I cleansed my skin. Super lightweight texture. It gave me um, a real kind of glow as well. I did not see many results from this, apart from a radiance and a luminosity. So yeah, I don't know. I would not necessarily recommend this or tell you to go out and spend your coin on this because the next one I think that one is the best one I've ever tried. Oh yeah, and it's no other than the I'm from Mugwood Essence. This is one of my favorite essences in the world. It's so potent, so effective. So this also does contain a hundred percent of Mugwood Princeps extract from Gangwa. This one is also from Gangwa and it's also Artemisia Princeps extract. I just don't understand. This formula is so different. When this goes on, actually, it feels a little bit like oily. This has like a little bit of a slip to it. But once you spread this out, once you pat this in, this really deeply like hydrates the skin. And I feel like with continued use, this really shows some stunning results. Don't give up on it after two weeks. Your skin needs a lot longer to actually show you some results. With this, I had to use this for about like six weeks. And then I really saw the results. I was like, wait, my skin is better than ever. And I think it's due to this and that green tea toner. So this is so good. I would always, always repurchase this. And this is a holy grail skincare product of mine. Definitely a top pick. So let's maybe continue with one that is not K-Beauty. 
and this is the natural logic elemental red wine essence so this was a product that i've used way before i actually came across k beauty and all honesty i would not necessarily repurchase this product it wasn't a bad product but it was so expensive and as the name says it red wine essence this just smelled so much of wine. I'm not the biggest fan of this wine, like strong wine scent. However, the red wine actually has a lot of reservatrol. So if you like reservatrol, maybe, but this tiny bottle has 60 milliliters of product and it was so, so freaking expensive. I'm not sure how much I paid. I think I paid over $60 for this. Now, I also purchased this product because it did contain niacinamide, and I really do enjoy niacinamide. I was kind of like giggling a little bit when I found this again, and I was like, oh, those were the days where, you know, I did not know any better. And I did not know any of this K-beauty stuff. And Korean skincare is known to be really potent, yet quite affordable. So although I will not repurchase this, you know, it does not mean that it's necessarily a bad product. I did definitely see some plumping, some evening out of the skin tone, and also Reservatrol, you know, that red wine that they are using in here, definitely has some benefits to the skin, but it was just the experience, you know, Basically, it was the scent of this product where it just was kind of like a no for me. I personally don't like that scent of wine. The scent was a no-go. Okay, so back to K-Beauty. That's also the last product that I have here. Whew, there's a lot of products, you guys, because I love my toners and my essences. This is the By Wish Trend Quad Active Boosting Essence. That's just for one second love on this packaging. It's a glass bottle too. This was so amazing. This is like also something that I would recommend if in particular, if you have dry or more like acne prone skin, this actually does contain some willow bark extract at 10%. Now BHA is actually derived from willow bark, but willow bark extract is definitely a lot more gentle, but this will keep your pores clean. So another really good anti-inflammatory ingredient in here is the fermented honey and black tea. And this also has some propolis extract, but the propolis extract is only at 1%. It also has some lotus leaf extract at 8.7%, some mulberry bark extract at 8.7%, and then a couple more extracts. So in my evening routine, I actually used the April Skin one first, and then I went in with this one. And combining these two products together was just so anti-inflammatory. It was so plumping, so hydrating. With this, I really did not need much product to achieve really good moisturization. Now, it definitely is a little bit more rich, more nourishing, yet it's not pore clogging or anything. Otherwise, I would have immediately stopped using the product. It was not over moisturizing because I was a little bit scared in the beginning, but then I realized, man, this has 10% of willow bark extract and my complexion was just glowing from this. It was evened out and I really did see the benefits of this product. So guess what? I repurchased this. This product is also something that I don't really want to be without anymore. And I just truly came to love this one. It's so fantastic. I would definitely recommend this. So the next part of this video is going to be my serums and my moisturizers and some other products like face masks, eye creams, all of that kind of stuff. But honestly, I don't want to accumulate ever again so many empties because these videos are just getting too long. Also, I would be really curious to know if you guys have emptied out any cleansers, toners or essences, or if you've tried any of my empties, uh, leave me a comment down below because I'm always really intrigued to read them. So thank you so, so much for actually making it to the end of today's video and just don't forget forget in case you enjoyed it why not like it subscribe and also ring the bell to get notified about my upcoming videos so stay tuned for part two and I shall be seeing you on here very very soon so please do take care thank you so much for watching bye bye <laughs>